Hey! hey every- <laughs> it's always hey guys. It has always been hey guys. Okay, I. Do one. Hey, hey guys! <laughs> so long time no, no see. Yeah. Um. But if- high school is hard. Okay. It is. There's so much to do, and we just procrastinate everything. We're gonna be more regular now because we're gonna bulk shoot a bunch of things. So don't yeah. judge us if we have the same clothes on for the next three videos. So today we're gonna be reviewing the Silent Patient by Alex Michael. I'm not going to butcher the last name, but Alex and and <laughs> and surname inserted. It was amazing. amazing. It was so suspenseful and I was hooked from the start to the end. And it's normally my genre, but like even she liked it and yeah. so that says a lot about yeah. the work. So let's get into it. Welcome, Welcome to, to you, you, me and books. See we still got it. We still <laughs> got it. <laughs> That's right. Okay. Alicia Berenson's life um, is seemal- seemingly. Let's just say it again, please. <laughs> Alicia Berenson's life is seemingly perfect. She's an she's a painter who's married to an in demand fashion photographer, and they have a happy marriage. They've been living. They've been married for around nine years, eight years. I don't know. And everything is well until one day she shoots her head husband in the head five times and it's up to our main character Theo to find out why but there's also a twist to it because ever since she shot him she hasn't spoken a single word she's the silent patient I picked up the book purely because of what I read because yeah. that is something you never see like I've never seen that plot like even something similar to it anywhere before because the way it's described like she does not feel any remorse she doesn't show in any, any emotions which is just she's strange because she just shot her husband five times in the head there's supposed to be a reaction but there isn't any and that's just what makes it more interesting and that's what made me pick up the book because i was just like confused and curious at the same time exactly you need to know what's going to ha- like what happened and why she liked that a gripping plot and a great suspense. It's definitely worth a reading. And we gave it, I think, a 5. 4.5? A 4.5 4. 5 5 out of 5. 5. Yes. Now let's move on to the pros and cons of the book. Okay, so the pros would obviously be that you don't even have a hunch as to what the suspense is. Like in a lot of thrillers and murder mysteries that I've read, you get like some kind of an idea as to what is going to happen or who's the victim and the culprit. Or Exactly, that's because of your experience as a reader. But then this book completely throws you off the rail. It's, it's just different. You exactly. can't figure it out until and the, the twist. End. Okay, it's a dual timeline, so there's multiple yeah. twists. And happening. it's a dual perspective too, like it's from Alicia's diary too, and from the psychotherapist perspective, yeah. So, there's two perspectives, there's two timelines, and there's twists in every perspective and in every timeline. And still, until like the very last chapter or the second last chapter, you don't know anything. So that's actually one of the cons. And the pros? Because, like, it's a good thing, but like... Because it's, you're supposed to, you know, be curious about what's gonna happen. And, and you're hooked on to the book. Exactly. But then the thing is that if nothing is revealed, nothing is revealed until the end. You just want to keep the book down. Like, you're not you constantly like, oh my god, what's happening? It's very slow-paced, actually. So I took, like... Two weeks to get through like the first 100 or 150 pages of the book and after mm-hmm. that I finished it in a day because it picks up after that yeah. but getting through that initial half is really really hard and sometimes it might just make you not want to continue reading the book which is kind
kind of a drawback. Exactly, but because it's a thriller, you, it should be somewhat fast paced and gripping. Exactly. Throughout. Yeah, not but only it's only it. gripping at the end. Which is not. That everything good. hits you like a train at the end. Which is amazing. Which is why yeah, it's also exactly. a it advantage. Is, yeah. But at the same time, you you want it to hit you, you know, in parts. Maybe. You want, you don't want everything to be revealed at the end. Yeah, but normally, exactly. it's like um, revealed slowly. Like different parts of the story mm-hmm. are revealed um, at different points at the, the book. Yeah, yeah exactly. but that's not what's happening here. What well, that's not what's happening here. But otherwise, it's it's an amazing book. It's phenomenal, and it, you know, I usually don't read thrillers and mysteries, but that was so cool. And the whole concept of mental health along the way, like how everything affects a person's mind, every little thing, yeah, you know, th- from their childhood. It's the perfect psychological thriller, as she mm-hmm. said, and it's just a good read whether you like murder mysteries or not. Um, and if you like thrillers, it's like from somebody who loves thrillers. It's the most amazing. And yeah. let's talk about the age rating. So the book is based on some mature topics, like Teens. yeah. So I'd rate it maybe a fifteen, fifteen plus yeah. book exactly because it deals with something like you that are dark. They're very dark, yeah, mm-hmm. but. That's also the fun part. So if you're the right age, you're going to yeah. enjoy it. But yeah, definitely worth a read. Go check it out. Let us know if you like it. And we will be back with more videos. Bye! Bye.